here's my DIY Hulk sled. And the design of the sled was inspired by Green Video, Dr. Pulp Sled, and Wall Hiker. I started making the pulp sled from this uh, $14 sled that I bought from Zellers, being in Canada, that's going to be called Walmart, uh, sorry, not Walmart, but Target very soon. And as you saw from the previous videos, I had uh, drilled a bunch of holes and had originally wanted to put in the metal grommets to make it stronger. But what I found was the metal grommets were cutting through the rope as it moved in and out from uh, traveling and from the tension that I used the bungee cords to strap down my bags. So regardless, uh, I had to take out the grommets, make sure that they don't cut through the rope. And so far it's been holding and it's been pretty good. So I have one hole in the front, one in the uh, middle, one near the back, and it's uh, far one in the back. And yes, the rope goes all around the whole sled. And the purpose of that is that uh, I can actually put more tension because this is actually still the same rope. I didn't cut it off. Um, I can put more tension on it to make sure that this pulled on tight. But ideally what I can do is I can take a uh, traveler's or one, one of those straps that you can singe down or maybe even a really small bungee cord and I can attach it from the underneath so over here on this side of the rope to the other side and cause more tension so this is going to be really tight and good for poles. We're talking about the poles in just a few moments here so I'm just going to put them out of the way and once again to show you from the top I just put in some of these uh, carabiners and just wanted to let you guys know that everything I made here for this pug set I made it for um, 75 pounds, but I really only had to carry probably about 25 pounds. So the rope is obviously rated very high. It's rated around 160 um, pounds for payload. The shackles were good for 175 as well. But these carabiners, they say, uh, I think it was like 85. And again, I'm saying 75 because my weakest point would be uh, those S beaners up by the poles, which I said I'll talk about in just a bit and the rate of only 75 pounds. Hopefully the sled will hold together because it is just plastic. Right, before I forget, I, I also want to mention, I think um, you guys would have seen last night my video that this sled pulls really, really easy. It was really easy to pull through the snow. Without my snowshoes, I was thinking at least a foot to, to uh, just, just a little bit under a foot or more into the snow. And this sled just floated right on top. So it's really nice how it can distribute the weight, kind of like how our snowshoes work, and that's why pulling a sled is very effective. The other thing I've done is, just like with my snowboard and my skis, you can take wax and wax the bottom of it, and I found that that helps a lot more. See, I don't know if you can see that, but that's actually not dirt. See, that's, that's the wax that I've, I have left over, and it's helped it tremendously. My bag of choice here is a junior size hockey bag. In fact, I left the tag on for you guys because I didn't want to forget the dimensions while I was making it. This is a 30 inch by 15 inch by 12 inch. That basically translates to about 5,500 cubic inches, so that's 55 liters. And it is a pretty decent sized bag, and yet it's not, I'm not filling up my whole sled so that I can leave room to put things on. For example, uh, the snowshoes on top, or the shovel, and my poles right now, which we're using to put up the tarp. That's my Noah Celtic tarp, if you're wondering. And uh, the firewood, which you saw we had more last night, but obviously we cut some to use it last night. So yeah, the, the bag is, it's plenty big enough. Plenty big enough. Um, this was the extra big synthetic minus 20, minus 25 sleeping bag I brought, just in case temperatures really, really dropped and we need to put some, create some more loft on top of us. This is my outdoor research tarp tent. We didn't use that, I brought it along for fun. And with the sled, you know, you can start bringing in so much more fun stuff during the winter to keep you comfy and, again, having lots of fun. This is my NTG wood stove. Uh, you saw, you probably saw my Apex stove. I got that in there in another pot. So, that's the sled itself. 
it's very very useful very simple to to make and very very cheap as I mentioned this is like $14 rope is however much you can get for it. just get a really good rope you may also want to use silicon to put on your rope so that it stays together and it's also better towards temperature carabiners you know, you can get a pack of them from your home hardware or something like that you can get it for you know, what three dollars four dollar I kind of I don't have the price with me right now so you know they're, they're really cheap carabiners whatever um, PVC piping I'm using uh, you know these are these are only these are only five feet uh, PVC piping and that's all the length I needed and even with my really really long snowshoes uh, here as you see my snowshoe is pretty long I do not kick anything everything's out of the way and um, the rope goes right through it a nice beefy knot so then on this side what I did was I was tugging on it a lot for as much as much expansion as possible to tie down the knots and then I use my S beaners from a uh, this is a double sturgeon knot <laughs> kind of like from fishing whereas on the other end I showed you guys I used the, the hangman knot and uh, so back over here to the double sturgeon knot I uh, put in the S beaners which are only rated for 75 pounds and then I can clip it to whatever I can in this case I clipped it to the back of my backpack because I got two nice loops there and it worked perfect another tip um, it's nice to have a velcro strap this one's a velcro strap with a little slot so you can put it in that way you can kind of keep the poles together just as you see right here while you're not using it but even while you're using it to create less bounce and uh, play so that is my punk sled very easy to make if you're ever thinking of making one I encourage you to also because it's really rewarding to pull and to carry a lot of your winter gear.